You can't help being awestruck after watching the latest inventions in technology and robotics in this weekly update. Shapeshifting, Marvel fans know what that is is going to be for real now. Can you imagine? And that's not all. Watch till the end to get your mind blown. But before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Think you like what you see. Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you're at it to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. Real robot bugs that can go practically in a place are one of the highlights of the week. These ancient organisms can fit through the tiniest cracks, fit snugly into small areas, and thrive in adverse conditions. There aren't many places where an insect can't go. Can you envision a robotic bug that follows your commands? That's why University of Pittsburgh researchers developed small bug-inspired robots that can do tasks in hard-to-reach places and hostile surroundings. These robots could be used to get into tight spaces for imaging or environmental assessments. Jun Feng Gao, a PhD student in industrial engineering at the Swanson School of Engineering, said, take water samples, for example, or any structural analyses. Anywhere you go, you'll find myriad spots where a bug could go with not a person. In that case, these machines have the potential to be useful. Jumping across the surface is more energy efficient than growing for many animals of a particular size, such as trap jaw ants, mantis shrimp, and fleas. Those spontaneous motions are mirrored in the robots, which are likely constructed of synthetic muscles. According to Ravi Shankar, professor of industrial engineering at Pitt, the robots latch on to build up energy before releasing it in an impetuous burst to leap forward. Actuation in the artificial muscles we work with is usually slow, he says. We were intrigued by the topic. How can we employ this artificial muscle to generate a leaping actuation instead of a sluggish actuation? The interplay between molecular order and geometry provided the answer. When driven, the polymer muscle's curved composite form allows it to build energy. The way the molecules are positioned in the muscle takes inspiration from the natural world, and when their joint actuation builds energy into the structure said Masin Tabrizi, a PhD student in industrial engineering at the Swanson School and co-author of the work. Only a few volts of electricity are required to do this. Robotics is being used to treat spinal cord injury too. Have you ever considered what the world of medicine would be like if doctors had the accuracy of robots? A team led by Rutgers researchers has successfully stabilized an enzyme that can dissolve scar tissue caused by spinal cord injuries and accelerate tissue regeneration by using artificial intelligence and robotics to build therapeutic proteins. The work, which was just published in advanced healthcare magazines, explains the team's groundbreaking stabilization of the enzyme chondroitinase ABC, giving patients with spinal cord injuries new hope. This is one of the first studies to employ artificial intelligence and robotics to construct extremely sensitive therapeutic proteins and increase their activity by a significant amount. According to Adam Gormley, the project's primary investigator and an assistant professor of biomedical engineering at Rutgers School of Engineering at New Brunswick, it's a big scientific achievement. Through augmented reality, a robotic arm was twisted into shape. This is a new and intriguing development. The flexible arm, which was developed at Imperial College London, can twist and spin in any direction, making it easily adaptable for applications such as spaceship maintenance and even injury rehabilitation. Instead of being limited by rigid limbs and stiff joints, the adaptable arm may bend into several configurations. People working alongside the robot would manually bend the arm into the exact shape required for each activity in practice. The slick layers of Mylar sheets inside which collide over one another and can walk into a place, allow for this level of flexibility. Users have found it challenging to configure the robot into specified shapes without help. Researchers at Imperial's REDS or Robotic Manipulation Engineering Design and Science Lab have devised a system with our users to view an AER, how to set up their robot to improve the robot's user friendliness. Templates and designs in front of the users are projected onto the real world environment Using mixed reality smart glasses and motion tracking cameras, the robotic arm is then adjusted until it fits the template, which lights green after a successful setup, allowing the robot to be fixed into place. Next, how about a robot that appears to be expressing emotion? Precision, efficacy, and efficiency are all things that can be expected from robots. But expecting machines to have feelings really astounds us. Scientists from the University of Tsukuba's 
Faculty of Engineering Information and Systems have developed a text message mediation robot that can help users regulate their rage when they receive bad news. As we progress toward a future with more digital communications, this device could assist improve social relationships. While sending a quick text message apology to let us know they'll be late for a meeting is a quick and easy way for friends to let us know they'll be late for a meeting, it frequently lacks the human element that would precede a face-to-face -face or even over-the-phone explanation. When we are unable to comprehend the emotional weight underlying our friends' guilt for making us wait, it is likely to be even more unpleasant. Now, researchers at the University of Tsukuba have created AMO, a portable robot with forward motion, controlled by mechanical components inside his body. The robot could portray synthetic emotions by altering its internal weight. The robot was used to read text messages as a mediator. A text containing undesirable or inconvenient news will be followed by almost advice not to be angry or even pity the user. The lack of social responsibility in a textual visual communication medium shifts attention away from the sender and toward the message substance. The mediator robot, according to Professor Fumihai Tanaka, was created to suppress the user's anger and other negative interpersonal impulses, such as thoughts of revenge, and instead cultivate forgiveness. A new artificial intelligence technique might aid in the prediction of heart attacks. Based on the volume and type of plaque and arteries that carry blood to the heart, the tool successfully identified which individuals will have a heart attack in five years, according to a study published in the Lancet Digital Health. Plaque accumulation can restrict arteries, making it difficult for blood to reach the heart and raising the risk of a heart attack. A coronary computed tomography angiography CTAs is a diagnostic procedure that takes 3D pictures of the heart and arteries and can tell physicians how much a patient's arteries have constricted. There hasn't been a straightforward, automatic, or quick technique to quantify the plaque shown in CTA photos until now. Coronary plaque is frequently not quantified since there isn't a fully automated technique to do it, said Deminide, PhD, head of the Biomedical Imaging Research Institute at Cedars Quantitative Sinai's Image Processing Lab and senior author of the study. It takes a professional at least 25 to 30 minutes to measure plaque, but now we can utilize our software to quantify plaque from CTA pictures in five to six seconds. Day and colleagues looked examined CTA photos from 1,196 persons who had a coronary CTA at 11 different locations in Australia, Germany, Scotland, and the United States. The researchers taught the AI program how to assess plaque by teaching it from 921 coronary CTA pictures that had already been evaluated by expert clinicians. The method works by first creating 3D pictures of the coronary arteries and then recognizing the blood and plaque deposits inside them. The tool's measurements match the plaque quantities detected in coronary CTAs, according to the researchers. They also compared pictures from intravascular ultrasonography and catheter-based coronary angiography, two invasive techniques that are believed to be very accurate in detecting coronary artery plaque and constriction. Finally, the researchers observed that measures are taken from CTA pictures by an AI system successfully predicted heart attack risk within five years for 1,611 patients who took part in the Scott Heart Experiment, a multicenter trial. More research is needed, but it's possible we may anticipate if and when a person will have a heart attack based on the amount and composition of plaque seen with this routine test, said Day, who is also a professor of biomedical sciences at Cedars Sinai. Next, shapeshifters are the next generation of robots. Are you a Marvel fan? If yes, you'd be overwhelmed in a couple of moments because shapeshifters are going to happen for real. Soft robots and materials can now be coached in a new method that allows them to move and function more purposefully, according to physicists. The University of Bath's research is described in today's scientific advances. The study's authors feel that their breakthrough modeling of active matter could be a watershed moment in robot design. With further refinement of the concept, it may be feasible to decide the shape, movement, and behavior of a soft solid based on human-controlled activity on its surface rather than its natural elasticity. An average soft material's surface always drinks into a sphere. Consider how water condenses into droplets, because liquids and other tiny materials naturally contract into the smallest surface area possible, or a spherical beating occurs. Active matter, on the other hand, can be constructed to counteract this tendency. A rubber ball coated in a layer of nanorobots, for example, may be programmed to work together to distort the ball into a new preset shape, such as a star. 
it is hoped that active matter will lead to a new generation of machines with bottom-up functionality. Instead of being directed by a central controller like today's factory robotic arms, these new machines would be made up of several discrete active units that work together to define the machine's movement and function. This is similar to how our biological tissues, such as fibers and heart muscle, work. HELP is a small robot that navigates for kilometers with geographical lints. The majority of robots navigate in a different way than most people. Robots are fully functional when they have a complete grasp of their surroundings, as well as some form of thorough geometric reconstruction of their position and orientation. The demands of autonomous robots never end, obviously. This stuff doesn't scale all that well. Litters, pre-existing maps, powerful computers, and even a motion capture system if you can afford it. The demands of autonomous robots never end, obviously. This stuff doesn't scale all that well. Dhruv Shah and Professor Sergey Levine of the University of California, Berkeley, are working on a new strategy with this in mind. Their approach to robotic navigation forgoes the high-end, power-hungry components in favor of a monocular camera, some neural networks, a basic GPS, and some simple input in the form of a very basic human-readable overhead map. Such occurrences may not appear to have much of an influence, but they allow a relatively simple robot to efficiently and intelligently traverse through unknown settings to reach distant destinations. That concludes today's installment of our weekly updates. If this video educated you and charmed you, give it a like. Also, to watch more of our fascinating weekly updates on the robotics field, subscribe to our channel. Remember, we always keep you one step ahead. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.